intern. Good morning, good morning. <gasps> Kira's gonna give birth. Oh my goodness. Well, that's one way to start off the morning. Oh, and there's a little girl who is inside of our cheetah exhibit. Well, after Kira gives birth, we'll have to get her out of there. Clearly, she's enjoying wearing her finnick fox hat, but we must teach her that she is not a finnick fox. Kira? That's, that's her mate. And actually, we have a new name for him. His name is actually Flash, so we'll have to see him in a second. There's Isla, her mom. I have some very exciting news in turn. It turns out that both of our cheetahs are pregnant. So Mr. Flash here, <gasps> Kira's just given birth. Where has she given birth? Oh my goodness. Oh, Flo's pregnant. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, intern, good morning. Apparently, it is a very busy morning. We have just won the challenge to breed three different species in a cash grant, which is excellent. Because you know what? I think we actually need that in order to take good care of our cheetahs. And speaking of our cheetahs. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Isla, you're just taking a nap. Are you just taking a little snooze right here? Yeah. Now, where are your grandbabies? Because Kira, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Well, there's, here's Kira. Kira, where are your new babies? And here's her mate taking a drink. Because we have spots just coming out of our ears now because there's so many. Where's your baby, Kira? There's your mom. <gasps> baby! Look at the tiny little one. Oh, it's so small. Are you hunting something, darling? Look at it. I think it's stalking something. Stalking its sibling. Kira, I need to find... Oh, this is Flash. Flash, how you doing? Congratulations. I need to find your babies. Because they're hiding in the tall grass. What are you up to? Yep, stalking her sibling. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we've got so many cheetahs. All right, so let's see. It looks like we're going to name this one little girl. She's going to be Dandelion. I have been going through the list of post-it notes, the pile of post-it notes that you have left on my desk intern, and I am doing my best to catch up with all the different names. Oh, did you have fun with your sibling? Oh, goodness, Dandelion's so playful. Oh, and look, there's another one. Man, these are some water-loving cheetahs. A little boy running away from his sibling. Oh, that's so cute. So we have Flash, and this one is going to be Isaac, actually. Because those are some very good names in turn. I have a huge list. Oh, Godzilla is really hungry. Oh no, Godzilla is really thirsty. Godzilla, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Let's get you over here where you can get to your food and water. We might need to add... Uh, oh, and now Isla's giving birth. I knew it. See, in turn, it is just a cheetah kind of day. Oh, I'm so glad to know that our cheetah breeding program has been going so well. Though we might need to separate... Uh, our cheetah cubs as soon as they grow up because interbreeding is indeed a problem. Oh, Isaac, there you go, little cub cub. Because interbreeding is a problem that we've discussed before here. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kira, you're underwater, underwater nursing your baby there. Little bit concerned, just saying, little bit concerned. We won't dwell on it too much. That was amusing. Oh, and now Flutter is giving birth. Flutter is one of our fennec foxes. Oh my goodness, just, an oh, and Isla just gave birth. Where'd she do it? Ah, I can't believe we're in the exhibit and we didn't even see it. All right, where are your babies? One cublet right there. Oh, they're down there. Okay, good. Let's jump down there and check. <gasps> so many spots. Oh my goodness, there you are. Oh, she's been such a good mom. That's a little bit close. Oh, look at you. Beautiful cubs, beautiful cubs. And we have actually had very good luck uh, with our cheetahs breeding so well. I think that this is one of our key, key efforts here at our, oh, look at the cheetah baby. Oh, what's this? Let's see. We have tried this, our marketing department, and you know what? You didn't like my picture of a guest taking an ice cold soda. We'll try it one more time because we can complete that really fast. Oh, and now Flutter's giving birth. Intern, we have plans and actually a gigantic surprise to show you today. And it actually has to do with our desert exhibit. And by the way, don't worry, we will be moving out of our desert area pretty soon. I know you're getting a little bit bored of working with... Oh, oh good, he's not stuck. I, oh, oh, stuck! Stuck! Children! Stuck! Oh dear! Did, oh, come here, little girl! Let's get, you, uh, let's get you out of there. I know that you're very, very excited. And you want to just be up close and personal with the animals, but you are not, despite what you think, a finnick fox. So you may not stay in there with our animals, okay? Poor little thing. Oh, and look at him! Oh, look at these kids! They're so cute! 
Wearing the cute little hats. I love it. I love it. I want to get more cute little hats for our kids to wear. That'd be so fun. Godzilla, you doing okay now? So far, Godzilla and the Roadrunners are not messing with one another. So I think we're going to be okay there. She's pooping. She needs a little bit more enrichment. It's cranky because she hasn't really had the opportunity to, uh, to rest. But she does have her heat rock now. I guess we'll give her... Let's put some live lizards in there. Uh, I'm not really big on letting, you know, everyone see the cycle of life up close and personal. Sometimes it can traumatize the kids. But if we handle it in a very diplomatic and delicate manner, then I think it's a good educational opportunity. So we will, in this case, when it's little lizards, put the little lizards in there and just, you know, if they want to try to scurry out of the exhibit and save themselves, they can try. <sighs> and actually, I do think this young man is stuck. Are you having some problems, sir? Let me, uh, let me just scoot you. You need to use the restroom. Well, let me accompany you over here. There we go. That should, that should make him happier. All right. Well, intern. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's just standing in piles of trash. This is humiliating. Oh, my goodness. Intern, uh, clearly we need to hire another maintenance worker. So let us just come here. Thank you very much. Please work hard. Tend to this area. I can't believe it's so filthy. So embarrassing. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Please, free soda. If you would, sit down so I can take a picture of you with the free soda, too. Because I need to do that for our marketing team. Again. What's she eating? Sushi. That's not soda. You're not helping. Oh, and Flutter's giving birth now. All right, we'll have to come back and try to get someone to show us their soda. Oh, and the live lizard research is complete. Oh my goodness. Just so much going on today. So let's get a few of these guys zipping around in here. Look how cute they are! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Run for it! Oh, looks like our roadrunner's on the pursuit. Oh, the roadrunner's made really fast work of those lizards. It makes me glad that they're not eating, uh, they're not eating Godzilla. There we go. Well, Godzilla should enjoy that too. Kind of interesting to think about a lizard eating a lizard, but that's just the way, the way that life goes, the little cycle of life. Okay, so those guys are leaving each other alone. I am keeping an eye out for that though in turn because you have warned me that they might like to try to eat on t eat each other. Flutter, I feel like you've been giving birth constantly. Are you having some trouble? Are you having trouble giving birth to your little phoenix fox cubs? Let's keep an eye on her. She's running over here. Are you feeling a little bit crowded? Is that the problem? You can give birth now, darling. It's okay. Are you trying to get in the den? Hmm. Seems like Skylock and Flutter have a little bit of a confusion problem. Come on, Flutter. It's okay. Are you trying to get into this den and it's just it's just not not close enough to where you need it to be? Well, hang on a second. Flutter seems to be having a lot of problems trying to have her babies. So let's see if we put the den there, if that helps. Is that going to help? Give you a little more room? Maybe? Or are you just going to kind of hold on to those babies? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to keep an eye on Flutter and make sure she's okay. Whew. But speaking of babies and speaking of hands-on animal exhibits and speaking of dirty camels, oh my goodness. Got to brush these camels. Come here, you guys. Oh, get this get this thing out of here for you. Oh, oh, Flutter just gave birth. Finally. There you go, darling. Apparently, we just had Foxy's going to go rest in here. Let's see, Flo's her mom. Flutter, where'd you just have your babies? Skylock, where's Flutter? Ah, there she is. Hanging out with the, the Finnick Foxes in the giant Finnick Fox fruit pile. Oh, look at them. So cute. She's teaching her young... Yeah, are you so cute? Teaching her young to forge for- Oh my goodness! Don't be scared! Are you being yelled at? Oh, that was such a cute little baby! I love it! Okay, okay. Intern, I have been non-stop distracted because of everything that's going on. So, now that we have a moment to breathe, let me show you something very exciting! That little girl kind of points out some things that people like to do. Oh my gosh, there's trash here too. How embarrassing. Points out- oh, and the Roadrunner just gave birth. Well, that was quick. We'll have to go check on that. Uh, but 
People like to interact with animals, and that's one of the reasons I feel that our zoo is very important. Because we give people the opportunity to really have an experience with creatures that live in parts of the world that they may never visit. And so, to facilitate that experience... Doo -doo -doo, check it out! We've got a new camel! We have a little camel petting area! I'm very excited about this. Hopefully this camel petting area... Oh, there's a little toy. We'll move that. Hopefully this camel petting area will let people really come up and interact with one of our wonderful creatures. Let's see if we can get someone... Oh, mm, we're losing stars. We're going to have to take care of that. Would you like to pet our camel, sir? I'm sure you would like to pet our camel. Oh, oh I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to do it. Come on. Who wouldn't want to pet a camel? Come on. Come on, kidlets. Come over here and pet my camel. It's a hands-on experience. Well, I guess some kids get a little bit nervous and scared about these kinds of things. Come on. What about you? You want to pet my camel? No, now he's leaving the zoo. I guess the kids are a little bit scared to pet the camel. Come on. Come on. You want to pet the camel? Dang it. Well, eventually, in turn, we will indeed get people to come over here and pet the camel. Uh, also, I need to check on this camel because it's very hungry. Going to eat hay. Good. Oh, that's your problem. Oh, gracious goodness. Hey, you. You're blocking the food. Blocking the food and keeping everyone from sharing. I'm going to put some grass down here so that they've got more eating sources. And speaking of the camels. Huh, still trying to catch my breath so much. Oh, see? Camel. Give him baby. Baby camel. Baby camel. No, wait. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Isla has a disease. The, 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 these guys are fussing. There's birth happening. Flash has a disease. Oh my gosh. The giraffes are dying of old age. Things are getting a little bit... Why are you sick? What's going on? Things are getting a little exciting. Okay, you got a shot. Are you giving birth? Intern, things are getting a little bit exciting. Hang on one second. Okay, so this camel is feeling a little bit better. It's about to be groomed. This is a little boy, or a little boy, he's actually the herd leader, and I am adding the name Humphrey to him, because that is one excellent suggestion that you gave to me, in turn. And then let's see, so I believe, yeah, she's about to give birth, and this is going to be Leslie, because that is a great name that you also picked. Humphrey, are you stuck? You're figuring it out. All right, she's stretching, she's running, that's good. Oh my gosh, okay, quick, quick. Where's our other camel? The camel that is uh, supposedly giving birth. Humphrey, where's your mate? Ah, there it is. Oh, baby, there's baby camel. <gasps> baby camel! Oh, talk about cutie patootie. Talk about a cutie patootie. Look at you. Look at you be so adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to tell everyone that we've had a successful... Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's teensy little feet, teensy little eyes. Okay, well. Whew, we're going to need a name for that camel, because I only have three camel names right now. Though you may have left more post-it notes on my desk in turn. As I said, I am frantically trying to catch up. But let me just go ahead, and this one is Michelle. There we go. Woo! Alright, I think the camels are doing well. Oh, look at the baby hide under its mom. Very cute. Very, very, very cute. Alright, good. And now I'm going to go attend to our sick cheetahs. So let's go do that intern. Just uh, let me go run and grab the medical supplies. And then we will see if we can cure our cheetahs. Because they are getting sick and I don't like that.